Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with the, pre the preview of the halfway point of the Mountain West. This is my halfway point. This is, I'm going to talk about the Mountain West Conference in this video. Um, I'm going to talk about who's going to win the Mountain West. I'm, I'm going to make a prediction on the fly right here. I think preseason I had Boise State w winning the um, Mountain West. So still in the race, still in the race, so it still could work. But Utah State is ahead of them. Um, I think it comes down to the, these five teams in front of you. I know some people are saying um, Colorado State, even though they're three and four, they're undefeated in the in the um, conference, or they have one loss in the conference, I believe. Um, I look at Colorado State; they're going to lose to Boise State this week. They still get to play. I think Utah State as well. They'll lose that game as well. So. And they'll probably lose somewhere else, Colorado State. So I'm not sold on Colorado State. I'm really not sold on anybody else in the West Division outside of Hawaii and San Diego State of even being in the race at this point. So um, and, and Fresno State. I, those are the, really the only three teams I think is they're in the race for. In the Mountain Division is really Utah State and Boise State. Um, and I think these are the five teams it comes down to. Um, let's talk about each team. We're gonna start off with Utah State. Um, in the, we're gonna start off with the Mountain Division. Utah State. Um, they they have been pretty good. I've done I did a separate video for them be, on the request that people think that they are a very good football team. So I was like, okay, I'll do a separate video for Utah State. I think I had them going nine and three. I believe preseason. Um, They'll probably go ten and two, Utah State, or even eleven and one. The only loss I believe is to Michigan State, and they almost beat Michigan State at Michigan State, a pretty good Michigan State team. So they um, they haven't played Boise State yet. That is still a game they have to play, but they're being up right on everybody. They if they get Wyoming at home this week or Wyoming on the road. They should beat Wyoming. So, Utah State is a very good football team. The game in the Mountain Division is going to be Utah State versus Boise State. Whoever wins that, um, depending where the teams are, is probably going to be in the Mountain West Championship game. And and um, basically, Utah State, they're good defensively. They're good enough offensively. They're, I mean, Utah State in the Power 5 could probably be a 7-5 and five team. So, that's just my two cents. But I think Utah State is the best team in the Mountain Division right now. Boise State is the other team I think that's doing the race. This was my um, pick for the group, representing the group of five in the New Year's Six Bowls. I don't think that's happening now with two losses. They lost pretty badly to an Oklahoma State team that does not look that good. And they lost to San Diego State at home. A very interesting game there. So I think Boise State is definitely... Um, the Duffery out of the New Year Six Bowl conversation, um, but they can still win the Mountain West. Um, they're going to have to U they're going to have to beat Utah State and hope Utah State loses another game um, for them to probably be in the Mountain West Championship game. Um, Boise State they're pretty good offensively, defensively they're okay. Um, the only problem with Boise State though is that that loss to San Diego State was not good for them. That's a resume killer right there. So, I look at Boise State and Utah State. Out of those two teams, I'm probably going to say Utah State gets the nod for the Mountain West Championship. Now, let's look at the East. Um, let's talk with Fres about uh, Fresno State first. They're a pretty good football team. They actually have a Power 5 win over UCLA. So, if they continue winning, they haven't faced San Diego State yet or Hawaii. But if they, could, if they win those two games, they'll, probably, they'll most likely be in the Mountain West championship game rep representing the West Division. Um, the only loss is a blowout loss to Minnesota. They got blown out I think week two against Minnesota, week one, something like that. Um, I just feel like um, Fresno State, to me, they're a pretty good team defensively. Outside of that game against Minnesota, I don't know what happened there. And then offensively, they're good enough that they could score 27, 30 points per game. So, I think Fresno State is definitely one of the top three teams, um, especially with only one loss um, competing for the Mountain West Championship game in the West Division. Next team, San Diego State. Um, 
San Diego State, I said in my video for the AP Top 25, they should be the 25th ranked team in the conference. San Diego State's resume is pretty freaking good. Um, they lost to Stanford on the road 31-10, to but outside of that, they beat Arizona State at home, a ranked Arizona State team, number 23 Arizona State at the time. And Arizona State still is looking like a pretty decent team. Um, they, went on to, they went on the road and beat Boise State at, in Boise, which is very um, compelling in my, in my opinion. So they got a huge big-time road win in that. And they look pretty good. Um, San, San Diego State is not the type of team that's going to blow you out, um, per se. But they'll beat you up 27 to 10 every game if you let them. Um, they're pretty um, even on both sides. Good enough offensively, good enough defensively. Pretty good defensively, not thinking about it. But they could sit up there and they could go ahead and probably win the, the um, rest division at least. If they continue winning, they haven't faced Hawaii or Fresno State. Um, they ha we'll have to see how they do in those two games. But outside of that, San, San Diego State is looking pretty damn good. And then the last team, Hawaii, they have two losses, but they're six and two. They played eight games. Um, as you remember, Hawaii plays a thirteen-game schedule. I personally think Hawaii—they're the biggest surprise of the, of the year, and they're still not getting much respect. They beat Colorado State. Um, they beat they beat Wyoming. I think they beat San Jose State as well. Um, I think they beat someone else in the Mountain West. I don't I don't want to um, misspeak misspoke, but I think they beat someone else. They're pretty good, Hawaii. They also um, they they're pretty good. That, that win against Colorado State in Week One surprised me. They did lose though to Army. And BYU, two independent opponents, and they're decent teams. Army is a pretty good team, and BYU is a decent team. Um, they have not faced San Diego State or Fresno State. It's going to be interesting to see what they do against those teams. Um, but Hawaii, I look at Hawaii, and the thing that really concerns me about Hawaii is two things. One is an inexperienced coaching staff that's not used to winning games, being in big games after week, week five. Two, I'm not sold on, on their defense. I think their defense is a little bit inconsistent. I think when they get Hawaii's offense, I'm sold on. But when Hawaii's offense gets out there and when Hawaii gets out to a 42 to a 10 lead, it all of a sudden, or 42 to 14 lead, it all of a sudden becomes 49 35 Hawaii. So they play prevent defense a lot, Hawaii, when they get a big lead. And that's going to cost you against a San Diego State, which you're not going to get a big lead on, or a Fresno State, or a Boise State, or Utah State. So that is the one thing that really concerns me about Hawaii. I just feel like they, um, they got to patch holes on that defense. They cannot play prevent no matter what. Unless it's like five minutes left in the fourth quarter and you're up by that much, then you could go to prevent. But if you're in the third quarter and you're up 42-14 for Hawaii, they are not good at playing uh, prevent defense. So that is my one big concern about Hawaii more than anything. So I said in the Mountain Division, Utah State will most likely come out of the Mountain Division. In the West Division, I'm going to say San Diego State. Um, I think they get Fresno State at home. And I think they'll beat Hawaii no matter what, even if it's in Hawaii. Um, I just feel like San Diego State is the best team in the West Division, um, in the Mountain West. I'm I'm going to figure I'm going to go find out. I'm figuring out right now um, if they get Fresno State at home or on the road. And they get Fresno State on the road actually. Um, but still, I think San Diego State goes in there and beats them on the road. I'm not. The thing that is really concerning to me is that I saw Fresno State at the worst against Minnesota and it could reoccur. That is the, really the only difference. I just think San, San Diego State, I think they have a legit shot to make a New Year's Six Bowl if Central Florida or South Florida loses a game or Cincinnati loses a game. So we'll see what happens, but right now I have a Utah State versus San Diego State in the Mountain West Conference Championship. I believe it is held at, at whoever's the um, Fair team, so it will be probably San Diego State. 
Um, it should really be held at, at, at like, a neutral site, maybe, like, I don't know, um, Phoenix or something. But, anyways, that's my opinion. Utah State versus San Diego State for the championship at this time. I think I had it Boise State versus Fresno State or Boise State versus San Diego State. I forget, but I have a Utah State, San Diego State now. So, comment down below. Tell me what you think about on the Mountain West, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Also, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. And this is McDee the Beast signing off.